Hello there, Razzle48 here, bringing you some Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle news, and I put that news in quotes because none of this is confirmed. Coverage, we have a couple leaks on the uh, roster. Um, I'm sure any of you who's been following Cross Tag News already knows about this. The other YouTubers have already covered it, and I was originally planning on not covering it myself because, like, Coefficient did it, Eternal Oblivion did it, like, um... All of the big YouTubers covering Blaze Blue Cross have already covered on it, and honestly, it's not real news, it's all just speculation. So I originally wasn't going to, but then I came to the stunning realization that I'm not going to have any cross-tag content to make videos on until the time that we can tell if all of this is either real or fake. So at the very least, it gives us some, um, some fun to speculate and to try and guess whether or not one or either of these or neither of these is going to be real and what actually happens. And, um, it's just something, like, fun to, like, maybe hope and, um... Maybe if the next trailer comes out and it, like, aligns with one of these, then we can take something a little more solid from it. But I just want to talk about these uh, couple leaks, give my opinions on them, um, personally, why I think they may or may not be true, and then, um, uh, how much I like them, you know. It's the standard stuff. So this is the first one. Uh, this uh, um, is was leaked by the same guy who leaked the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Injustice, which, as we all know, turned out to be correct. And that's a good bit of credibility right there, because literally nobody, and I mean nobody, would have guessed that without knowing that it would have happened. So... This man knows his leaks. Like, I, I know he's done quite a few other ones. I know that some of them he's gotten right and some of them he's gotten wrong. <clears throat> but there is evidence to, um, to show that the person who leaks this does, like, has gotten leaks correct before. So he's not just effing around. So there is a possibility that this following list could potentially be true. Now let's dive into the list a little. Uh, for, um, it shows... Uh, 15 characters in total, four from each of the big three franchises, and then three from Ruby, who have to have all of their characters custom made from the ground up. So the Blaze Blue characters are going to be Celica, Kagura, Subaki, and Mai. And, like, personally, right off the bat, I love this list. Like, overall, like, like I'm going to tell you right now, like, this list as a whole, I love this list. Anyway, Celica. I love Celica. Um, everyone thought that Celica was going to be in the game because of her stage. I personally never thought so. I never thought that a character's stage being included was a solid reason to honestly believe that um, they'd make it into the game. But if um, there was that one guy who said if there's going to be a puppet character in Blaze Lacrosse Tag, it'll be Celica, even though Celica's not even a puppet character. Like, that, you don't control... Um, like uh, Minerva with some moves and Celica with others like, you know, Relius would. And she's definitely not a puppet character in the sense that Carl is. So I wouldn't call Celica a puppet character at all. She's as much a puppet character as Yuna Arakami is with Izanagi. But I love Celica. I'd love to see her in this game. Uh, she's a nice character. Um, she's not a toxic character. She's not, she's not a nightmare to fight against. And uh, she's also a nice character for people to pick up and, like, get into the game with. So I'm glad Selic is going to be in this game if this leak turned out to be true. Then we got Kagura. I like Kagura in this game because, like, he is an essential part of the Blaze Blue storyline. I'd also like to see Kagura converted into a system for Cross Tag. Um, back in my video where I was rating characters on my preference, um... I said, like, Kagura players may not like it if he was put in this game because all of his charge motions and stances would be changed into, like, quarter circles and he'd be made into more of a normal character, like of Ragna and Jin, for example. And, um, I'm very interested to see how Kagura is going to work because, like, Kagura is not a character that new players can pick up and play. And so, like, Kagura is a good example of a character who, uh, Blaze Blue characters who are not so advanced at the game, uh, may have not been able to play back in Central Fiction, uh, now may be able to pick up and play him easier in Cross Tag. And like I said, he is very story relevant. Both Celica and Kagura, very story relevant. I'm happy to see both of them. Then we got Tsubaki. I, I, I know this character is going to be in the game. There's zero, there's no way this character won't be in the game. Tsubaki is super, super important. And the fact that Makoto made it in, like, 100% guarantees Tsubaki will. There's no chance in this galaxy that, like, Makoto would make it into a game that Tsubaki didn't. Like, absolute zero. And then we got Mai, which is the surprising one. It's like, why is Mai in this game? Like, Mai's fun. Like, she's obviously, like, the most simple character in the Blaze Blue roster. 
So it would make sense why she's being put in like the simple, simple version of Blaze Blue being cross tag battle, but she has no story relevance and like she's a DLC character. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess she had her remix heart spinoff. I don't really count that as a spinoff. I count it more as like, like, ex like, um, lore, I guess. But if you want to count Remix Hard as a spinoff, then I guess you could consider Maya a guest character, but I don't. Like, I don't, I don't view it that way at all. But, um, I don't care for Maya as a character, but I think she has a very fun play style, and I'm glad to see her in this game, too. So, all three of these Blazable characters, I'm super happy for. Um, like, super, super happy for. Uh, the Undernight characters, Seth, the ninja, uh, ninjas are great, more ninjas all the way, let's go. Um, Orie, I love Orie, rapier characters, uh, girls about purity, just like Tsubaki, love them. Yuzuria, this was my Undernight main, Car uh, um, Yuzuria is, uh, to my knowledge, the most popular character in Undernight, so I'm sure a lot of people would love to see her in this game. Um, you're gonna have to work on her hitboxes, though. And, uh, I'm honestly, like, what, on board with all three of these characters, but then they have chaos, and this is, like, the part where I go, what? <laughs> like, um, this should have been Carmen, this should have been Hilda, this should have been not chaos. Like, this is a genuine puppet character. This isn't, like, Celica. Like, this is Carl levels, to my understanding, of puppet character. There's no reason chaos should be in this game. And I don't know, like, um, there's also been speculation as if to, like, the person who leaked this intended it as the next batch of characters to be all is one reveal, or to be the final roster. It's not going to be the final roster, because there's no Hawkman. Simple as that. Hawkman's going to be in this game, like, 100%. So, um... Coefficient speculated it's going to be the next wave of characters. I'd probably agree with him, because there is one more monthly reveal stream before, um... Arcs uh, Evo Japan, which is the only event where a reveal of this size could, would even be possible. Um, so, there's no way this is going to be the final roster, and no way this is going to be the um, well, the next reveal. So, um, it's gonna, just going to be the next wave of characters, which would explain Chaos a bit more. Like, if characters like Carmen and Hilda made it in, like, um, made it into the game as well, then that would justify Chaos more so. A lot like Makoto. Like, um, if Makoto made it into the game but Tsubaki didn't, then that would be cause for Riot. But, um, th there's still tons more characters left that have yet to be revealed, so... I probably shouldn't have gotten as mad at Makoto as I did in my reaction video. I was just really upset that it was her and not Tsubaki. But looking at it in retrospect, Tsubaki is going to be in, so no reason to be mad. But uh, Chaos is even more questionable. <laughs> like, um, having more Undernight reveals down the line would justify it. And, like, um, just to reveal him earlier is more of a shock factor. Like, obviously, like, characters like Hilda are going to make it in before Chaos. So... Maybe they're just shuffling up the order. Like Maury said, like, when the game, like, first got revealed that he already had the roster in mind. So, maybe he's just shuffling around, like, the character reveal order to be more of a shocker. I mean, knowing, putting Makoto before Tsubaki, like, did that all on its own. But that's probably why Chaos is here. Next we got Persona. We got the rest of the investigation team. Kanji, Naoto, Teddy, Rise. Um, by the way, people uh, give this um, leak crap because, like, they misspelled Naoto, uh, Naoto and Risei's last names. I'm not sure I agree with, like, invalidating the leak just for that reason. Like, the, the person who leaked this is, like, someone who's familiar with fighting game leaks, not necessarily the franchises. Maybe he doesn't know the characters that well, and he just, like, typed this up, like, not bothering to look at it. He's just like, Naoto, oh, what's that person's last name? I don't really remember, and then just, like, typed it up or something. Like, um, but anyway... Uh, Enough about that. Uh, the Persona 4 investigation team. Kanji's an amazing character. Naoto, I don't really care for, but I, I like having her in this game. Cool set play character um, all around. I like her gun mechanic. Uh, Teddy. Teddy is obnoxious, and like, um, I think Teddy's going to be a great thing to have in this game for story reasons. Um, and then Rise, which is kind of confusing. Um, it makes sense, like, if they just want to have the entire investigation team in. Another point that a lot of people raise is that they don't, um, they think that this sets off a flag because she's an Ultimax character, not a P4A character, and they use the P4A logo in the, um, initial trailer, not the P4AU logo. I have no reason, I, I, I have no idea why people think that. 
like why Ultimax characters are like excluded from this game just because of a logo use. Like, for one, um, I think to my knowledge they removed the arena part of the title from the Japanese name of the sequel. It was like Persona 4 The Ultimate Ultra Suplex Hold in Japan. And like maybe they just put P4A as like the P4A franchise because like all the other franchises had their full origin game name in the title, like Blaze Blue, Under Night and Birth, and then um, Ruby, obviously. Um, I There's no reason Ultimax characters would not be in this game just because of a JPEG on the most outdated trailer of this game to date. Like, there's so many things in that trailer that, like, are not the case anymore, that they changed. Um, the inclusion of Ultimax characters would just be one of many. But anyway, um... There's no P3 characters. I think it makes sense that they'd want the entire investigation team. The only thing is, is that I'm not sure Rize should be in this game. Uh, not because she's an Ultimax character, but she can't fight. Like, they pulled bullcrap to make her playable in Ultimax to begin with. But I understand. is a very likable character. And so, a lot like Celica, for them to pull some strings to put her into this game, just because she's such an icon of her origin franchise is not too far of a stretch. Um, overall, I'm happy with this too. And then Ruby, we got the obvious ones, Blake and Yang, and then we got Roman. Um, people have been reacting to surprise to this. I, I'm not surprised by this. I always thought that if any Ruby characters would make it in who are not part of Team Ruby, it was either going to be Pyrrha or Roman. And I was leaning Roman on that to begin with because Roman's the villain. And, like, Roman, I, I think he fights more in the first three uh, volumes, which is which is what it looks like Arxis is taking into consideration. It looks like they're only taking into consideration stuff from the first three volumes. Um, yeah, he I think he fights more in those first three volumes than any other character. And, like, don't, like, don't quote me on that, because I've only watched through Ruby once, but if I remember, I saw a lot of Roman fights. Like, <laughs> a lot, a lot. Especially by comparison. Um, I'm happy about Roman. I think he's a real cool guy. Um, I'm happy. Uh, I'd, if he made it in this game, I'd, I'd freak out. I'd be all like, oh my god, that's amazing. And so that's it for the leak. Overall, I'm very, very, very happy with this list. The only character I have beef with is Chaos. And it's kind of understandable because, you know, Undernight has a small roster. Like characters like Carmen and Hilda can just get revealed a little later on. And, um... We'll get into this a little in the second leak, but it looks like Evo Japan is definitely going to reveal more than just uh, more than just three or four characters. It's a big event. It's a big deal. They're going to have some big reveals, if you ask me. I personally think they will. There's no way Arx is going to pass up on a hot, hot, hot opportunity like that. But about the validity of this list, um, I think the characters make a lot of sense, aside, like I said, from Chaos and Mai, for example. I don't think Mai makes sense. Um... Other than that, all three of these characters make perfect sense. All three of these make perfect sense. Um, even Rise makes sense. Um, these make sense. These make sense. Like, only two characters here that don't really make sense to me. And the guy who's leaked this um, has uh, gotten leaks correct before. So there is a lot of potential that this is a correct leak. That this is valid. That this will happen. And um, I'll talk a little more about that after we cover the second leak. So this is the second leak. This was leaked by someone who claims to be an employee at Arxis of America. He's not doing very well over there. They're probably yelling at him because he tends to leak stuff like this. I don't know. I've never worked for Arxis, although I would love to. Um, I promise I wouldn't leak stuff. Um, he's talking about how he may get kicked off of the team. He doesn't say why, um, but he says that he'll like give some info on the upcoming impacts. So... He says, um, he gives a little more specifics, like he says when the characters are going to be revealed, like, um, uh, I, I was correct in thinking, um, according to this leak anyway, I was correct in thinking that there is going to be, um, an Arkanama stream announcement in addition to the Evo Japan announcement in January, um, and I was also correct in thinking there was going to be a February Arkanama announcement in addition to the RTX announcement, so... And that's what I originally thought to begin with. Like, that's just how Arc System Works will do things. Like, there's not been a reveal that's missed an Arknama stream, and there's also, ever since it got revealed, not been an RTX where there hasn't been a reveal either. Even though there's only been one. <laughs> but it makes sense that they do, like, it's a 
Rooster Teeth characters, like iconic Rooster Teeth characters, are going to be in this game. So it makes sense that they reveal one. It's it per event, especially considering the Rooster Teeth reveal is going so slowly, like with the Ruby characters. And Evo Japan is obviously a huge event, so they would have a lot of characters. But let's talk about the specifics. Um, January 19th, stream announcement, going to be Hakuman Kanji Orie. This makes perfect sense, and this would be an amazing reveal. Like, Hakuman's probably my most anticipated Blaze Blue character for Cross Tag, uh, not counting any of the ones that are currently already revealed. For characters that have not been revealed yet, Hakuman's probably the one I'm hypest for. So seeing Hakuman, Kanji, and Orie, like, I love these two characters as well. Kanji's a great guy, even though fighting him is a nightmare, and I've already talked about how I feel about Orie. So this would be, like, overall, I may say that this would be, like, the best reveal to date if this happened. Like, this would be effing amazing. That, like... If this happens on January 19th, well, for one, then that means that we'd know that this list is correct, which uh, would be quite, quite something there in itself, but that would also be amazing to see, like, these three amazing characters revealed. Anyway, Evil Japan, supposedly Jubei, Terami, Teddy, Adachi, Seth, Hilda. Let's start from the bottom up. Hilda is the, I, um main antagonist of Undernight. It makes perfect sense she'd be in. I'm always predicting that Hilda would be in. She's the main antagonist. It makes perfect sense. She's also the signature zoner of that franchise. And now that we've seen that both Blaze Blue and Persona have gotten a zoner, it would make sense that Undernight gets theirs too. So that makes perfect sense. I've already talked about Seth. Um, did I talk about Seth in the first one? Yeah, I already talked about Seth. Um, he's a cool ninja. He's relevant in the Undernight story. It makes perfect sense. Adachi. I think this is due to fan popularity. Everyone wants Adachi. Adachi is also the main antagonist associated with the Persona 4 characters and their storyline. He's probably... No, he is the most popular Ultimax character. He beats Rise. He beats <laughs> Margaret. He beats everyone else in that game. It makes perfect sense to me for Adachi to be in this game if they pay any attention to what their fans want. And considering that they're focusing almost entirely on just... um. On just Persona 4, like there hasn't, there's not a Persona 3 character in either of these leaks. It makes perfect sense for them to put in Adachi, who is um, to represent Persona 4 overall as the villain, as the character who's associated with the P4 cast in that antagonist sort of archetype. So that makes perfect sense to me. It, uh, I don't care that he's an Ultimax character. Um, the argument that Ultimax characters will aren't going to make it in because. They used the P4A logo, never made sense to me to begin with. And the fact that he, and uh, the argument that he shouldn't make it in because he's a DLC character was invalidated when S was revealed. Next we got Teddy. Already talked about Teddy. There's no way this character's not making it in. This is the problem. Ugh. Jubei and Terami. Jubei just got, just came into Blaze Blue itself. And there is not a lot of Jubei players. Like, maybe Arxis is, like, taking the the player's, like, consistent, um, consistent request for him to be in Blaze Blue over the years as, like, a sign that they would, like, prefer him to be in Cross Tag over other characters, which is obviously not the case. People want Hakuman. People want Naoto. People want... Who else do people want? I don't know. Y'all y'all know who people want. It's who you want. And I guarantee you that's not Jubei. Like, it's other, it's other characters, like like Naoto, <laughs> but anyway, it's like, why would you put Jubei in, like, he, he just became part of Blaze Blue's roster, like, I, I, I'm not comfortable with Jubei, and Terami, I have tons of problems with this, like, I, looking back, I really regret rating Terami as a three for potential on my, or a three for preference on my character preference video, I do not want Hazama on this roster twice. Blaze Blue already has a villain. Like, and in Blaze Blue Cross Tag, Hazama has his eye open. And as far as lore purposes go, this means that Haz that Terami is using Hazama as his vessel within Blaze Blue Central Fiction. And that wouldn't even make sense for Terami to be in this game then. And I I don't want two iterations of Terami on the roster. It, I don't want two villains from one franchise on the roster. Like, yeah, they're putting in um, Adachi and Hilda and uh, Roman. Or, well, the other league said Roman. But I'm, I'm going to assume they're going to put in Roman anyway, just later down the line at the RTX after the RTX that's after this one. 
I really don't want Terami to make it in. I really don't. I, I And I know why they're doing this. They, they're doing this because this character ranked third on the character popularity poll for some reason. Like, you already have Azama. That's enough. And honestly, so far in Crosstag, there's no characters that have made it in with toxic playstyles except for Hazama. And that's excusable because he's the main antagonist. Why would... Like, th this would be a nightmare if Terami got put in the game. Nobody wants to fight Terami. Like... Ugh, I understand he's an easy character to play, but no. Like, we already have a Hazama. Please leave it out. Next, we got the RTX announcement, which is um, the first few days of February. Platinum, bang, Blake. Blake, we already knew she was going to be in the game. I, um, it, it was just a matter of when. I think that the they're revealing it at the Rooster Teeth event. Makes perfect sense. Um, bang. I think Bang is a cool ninja. Um, it's good to see that he's making it as the form of comic relief and not Tao. I think that overall people, like the majority of the fan base, would prefer for Bang to make it in instead of Tao. And we have Platinum. I don't know why this is. Is this to appease the lolly lovers? I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I, I personally have never thought Rachel was a lolly. Um, but we already have Rachel. Like, since everyone wants to say she is, I don't know. Why anyone sees fit to put Platinum in this game. I have no idea why this is, but as long as Tsubaki makes it in and Hakuman, whatever. Although people are going to complain if Naoto doesn't make it in. So let's hope Arxis gets on that, I guess. Anyway, and then we have the February 16th stream, which would be Valkenheim, Labris, Merkava. This is the zero hype stream for me. I would not care about any of this. In fact, I'd be kind of salty. Like, I do not want Wolf J5A mix up in this game. Uh, that'd be bullcrap. Uh, Labrys is cancer. Like, how do you like getting touched for 7.5k in a game where the damage isn't as high as it is in cross tag? Like, um, imagine Labrys damage adapted into this game. It, it would be an effing nightmare. Like, it'd be the, like, the worst thing ever. And then we have Merkava, uh, like the discount Evangelion. I don't care about this character. He's not really fun to fight against. Um, so, this, the exact opposite of this stream. <laughs> no fun over here, all the fun over here. <laughs> and anyway, um, he also says some more stuff here. He's um, talking about how they're working with Rooster Teeth for dub reasons. Um, however, uh, Rooster Teeth has been getting in the way of some things, such as Relis being in the game because they don't want him to do the Astral on the Ruby characters. And uh, he says some more stuff down in the bottom, like some more stuff that Rooster Teeth tried to get in the way of, like clothing Makoto some more, and um, the fact that they were pushing for a September um, 2018 release date. And so, overall, I'm very half and half about this list. Like, on, on one hand, you have this reveal, which is effing amazing, and like, um, you have Hilda, I'm glad to see Hilda, I'm glad to see Adachi, I'm real glad to see Adachi. Um, and Bang's pretty cool too, but then you have characters like Terami and this entire reveal, which I'm not on board for at all. Like, Labrys makes sense, but I don't want her, and the other two characters, I'm like, eh. Um, and anyway, let's talk about the validity of this. I'm not sure I feel, like, the, like, the man claims to be an Arxist and works employee. I get, anyone could get online and claim to be an Arxist employee, like, um, I'm not saying he has to have any proof for it to be valid, like, this is a leak that will very obviously be revealed if it's true or not, because, like, if this reveal is these three characters, then we know that, that this is probably going to be true, if he nailed all three on the head. Like, that would, like, if January 19th's stream reveals these three, then you, you're on board for the rest of this to happen, like, following. Um... Uh, if, uh, January 19th stream isn't this, then all of this is invalid. And I think, um, it's very possible that this is true. I mean, uh, this kind of stuff does happen where, like, people, um, like, have a falling out with a company and so, the, like, they leak stuff. Like, this stuff happens. Um, I'm not sure about the list validity. I have no idea why they'd add Platinum. Uh, ter um, I have no idea why they'd put Terami on the roster twice. I have no idea why they add Jubei at all. I have no idea why they'd add Valkenhayn at all, especially in cross tag. Like, adapting Rachel and Hazama's move sets into cross tag is one thing. Valkenhayn is quite another. 
Unless they just make it so that, like, he has moves where he immediately goes into wolf form when you do them. And, like, when the moves are over, he immediately snaps out. I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. I, I don't really have a good comparison. <coughs> but, um... I think that the other list is looking a lot more valid than this one. Like, there's just some really, really whack things about this list. Jubei, Valkenhayn, Platinum. Like, particularly on the Blaze Blue side. Honestly... Everything else looks fine. Uh, the Ruby, like for both of these lists, the Ruby and uh, the Persona and the Undernight all look fine. It's the Blaze Blue that's uh, it's kind of trippy. But <coughs> there's obviously the possibility that these leaks are both people effing around. But there is also the possibility that they're both true. Like, that I've already stated why each one has a potential to be true. But there is the fact that it's possible that they're both true. I mean, like, this list here, we, like, this man may have just gotten this, like, this info, and, like, he doesn't say when this is gonna happen. Like, he doesn't claim that any of this is going to be in the next few trailers. So maybe he just found out somehow that all of these characters are going to be in the game, and, um, even though he doesn't know when they're gonna be revealed, and then maybe this man over here claims that he knows that these characters are going to be revealed at these dates. The fact that all of these characters make it in doesn't mean that it's like this leak can't also be true. And like having them both be true, it's I'm not going to say I'd prefer that because there's a lot of things about this leak right here that I really don't like. But if they were both true, then that'd be pretty slick because that means that we're getting all three of these characters, we're getting all of these characters, we're getting Roman, like bro, like, we're getting Yuzu, like, the best Undernight characters right here, and we're getting Hakuman, who's, like, an essential, an essential, essential character. Um, but right now, it's honestly all speculation. Like, if we see this next trailer, then that's gonna be a red flag, and honestly, like, just, just keep a lookout for, like, um, maybe, maybe, maybe this is the next batch of characters revealed, and this leak is completely wrong, and if that's true, then keep a lookout for, like, uh, sets of these characters to be revealed like in the next trailer or two and then that would mean that maybe this leak would be right but right now we have no way of making sure so for now let's just keep this in the back of our heads for the next trailer um let's see if this happens let's see if any of these happen and um we have some exciting uh times for cross tag coming up like we have uh, these two events are in rapid succession, and then immediately after we have the MC like all four of these events are like really close back to back. So we're gonna have some rapid fire reveals here in the next couple months. It's like really exciting. I'm on board for it. I hope I I know you all are too. I I, I hope only for the best. So thank you all for watching. Tell me in the comments. Uh, well, don't tell me who you want to be in the game because I have a whole video about that. Um, tell me in the comments um, if you think one or both of these lists are um, going to turn out to be true, and uh, tell me why. I'd like to know uh, what you think about these leaks, uh, why you think they're true or false. It's easy to say that they're false. I guess it's easy to say that they're true, too, because, like, employee and someone who's gotten leaks right before, so, I don't know. Just tell me what y'all think. I just wanted to make a video about this, because, um, you know, fill the gap. Give y'all some speculation. Keep the hype going uh, until the next trailer. But until then, uh, when some of this may or may not be confirmed, uh, this is Razzle48 saying goodbye, and I will see you next time.